So we had some awesome releases in 2023, and then there were some just tried and true things that I'm gonna bring to you today. What I found in 2023 in the category of eye makeup and lips is what we're gonna be covering for the very best eye and lip products today. We're gonna get into that right now. Before we do, I do have a number system where the number is corresponding to the product I'm holding up and you can go down into the description box, look for the number, you don't have to worry about remembering the product, and the information on the product and the link will be there and you can shop that way if you like to. Also, all the makeup that I have on will be listed below, along with my shirt. At the very end, I'll show you a picture of my shirt and the earrings I have on, jewelry, bracelets, anything like that that I have on. Also my press on nails. I've become a press on nail fiend lately. So I'll be showing you that as well. All right, let's get right into this because we have quite a bit to cover. So very quickly, I did not necessarily just pick one from drugstore, one from high-end. If I didn't find a high-end one I liked or if I didn't find a drugstore one that I liked, I didn't put them in here. Also, if I didn't find a new release, I just went back to the ones that I was gravitating towards for the whole year. The fact that those tried and trues from past years or months are not in this video does not mean that I don't still love them. And I have a whole playlist of those if you'd like to go see my yearly favorites going back about eight years. So I'll list that below for you as well. Let's start out with lips. Usually nobody starts out with lips. So let's just start out with lips. I'm gonna start out with liners because that's where we all kind of go to. The Makeup by Mario lip liners and this particular color is called Kevin. And I've been through two of these this year, just this year, because it seems like every time I would reach for something, I would want this lip liner. And it's just specifically because I love the texture of it. It's not too soft and it's not too stiff. So it lines the lips really well. It also has on this side a brush that you can use to feather that out if you need to or soften the line if you need to. Now, these particular lip liners, I'm gonna show you one from the drugstore in just a second, but they don't last like all day. I don't know of any lip liners once you eat or once you drink or whatever that's gonna last completely all day long. I'm always retouching mine. I don't know about the rest of you, but I always retouch mine. But these by, from Makeup by Mario, they're really, really good. And this one from Kevin is my favorite color, seems to be lately. And then I put in for from the drugstore, the ones that I, again, I didn't have a new one from the drugstore, but these are the ones that I gravitated towards all this year. These are the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liners. And this one is in mom beautiful mauve tone on that one and it's kind of a little bit lighter than Kevin right here now the difference is, is these are very creamy compared to the makeup by Mario one and then this one right here is rosewood now rosewood is the one that I probably use the most I love that deepness in it and then I can put just a gloss on either a colored gloss or a clear gloss and smudge it all out and it's just gorgeous. This is a very creamy formula so you definitely can fill in your lips with it but they're not so creamy that they're gonna wear off super fast. Now one thing I will say about both of these is that they are not automatic pencils. That's kind of a deal breaker sometimes. For me it's not. I like having a really sharp liner so I don't mind sharpening them but you might be one that gravitates towards mechanical. If you are, check out Revlon, check out Maybelline, check out L'Oreal. They're all so good. And and then let's talk about, let's just talk about this one lip oil that I have. I didn't really go towards any other lip oils. This Kosas lip oil, I know that this came out a couple years ago, but it's like I all of a sudden had a light bulb moment with this and this particular color too. The color is called Exposed and it has a little bit of reflex in it and it's not overpowering. Why I like this is because a lot of lip oils will feel really greasy and really slippery, whereas this one from Kosas, it just feels like a lip gloss, but you're getting all those yummy benefits of being able to treat your lips with the great ingredients as well. Now let's talk about my all time favorite lip glosses, but let's talk about these particular colors. The Maybelline Lifter glosses are my favorite glosses because they feel so pillowy. And there's no other way to say it. They're not sticky, they're not you know tacky on your lips. They just feel like you've got little pillows on your lips. I just really like them. What I have here would be surprising because these are three colors that are very bronzy, they're kind of 
like topaz colors and I think those are the names actually before I go off I'm just going to tell you this one is crystal so it looks like a very pretty gold color this one is copper name speaks for itself and then this one is gold again the name speaks for itself so I'll swatch these for you really quickly copper right here I love these because they're a little bit sheer but they do have enough of that shimmer in them to be able to just really set off your lip liner. This one is in copper. And especially during the fall and winter, these are just beautiful with regular, with my color lip liners, which are like uh, burgundies and pinks and mauves. They're just beautiful with them. This one right here is the gold one. I really gravitated towards these colors when I found that they had released all of these because they went so well with pink undertone lip liners. So these are gorgeous and particularly these colors is what I fell in love with this year. So really have been liking those. So let's wrap up lips with my two lipstick choices. My drugstore lipstick choice is from ColourPop. I normally put Maybelline in here. Almost every year Maybelline comes in and it is what I gravitate towards. I have been using these though this year because they're just so easy to use. They're these thin little lipsticks that are easy to outline your lips, unlike a lipstick that's a big bullet. They're just super easy. That's like the one and done thing. And if you get a cream one, they have the matte and they have the cream. If you get a cream one, then you've got your lip gloss, your lipstick and your lip liner all in one. So this one right here is one of my favorites because it is a really light pink and it's called Oh Snap. It's almost a nude pink. I shouldn't say almost, it really is truly a nude pink. It's so pretty to go with any color liner that you particularly like, whether you like the rust color liners or whether you like nude color liners, burgundies, plums, whatever you like, rose, whatever you like. It's one that just goes really well with so, so many. And then the other one, oh gosh, I've got to get my glasses for this one. This one is called Toasty Cream. And that one that you saw th that was the Oh Snap, that is a matte one. And I think that Toasty Cream might be as well. I will see here just in a second. Yep, this is a matte one as well. So what's beautiful about this, this one, is you get a little bit more depth there, but you're still getting a light enough color if you're somebody that doesn't like to wear, you know, very bold, bright colors. But it really does liven up your look because you've got that mid-tone. So I really think this one's a beautiful one. Any of these I can recommend. If you want to, if you get the creams, they're beautiful. If you get the mattes, they last a little bit longer like a normal matte does on any product, but they're very comfortable. You know, you get mattes sometimes and they're very drying. That's not these. These are really comfortable, very creamy, and yeah, these are the ticket. And then I have Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now, I purchased so many of her holiday sets because I fell in love with this formula this year. And so I was out there buying holiday sets and everything, and I still came back to the ones that I love the most. So this first one right here is called, let's see, this one is called Hush Rose. This is the matte formula, and it is so pretty. Look how vibrant and pretty that is. That's a matte one. And I really love wearing this with so many neutral tones because it just kind of takes on the cast of whether you're wearing, you know, if you're going towards a cool tone or if you're going towards a warm tone, it just really is one of those universal shades that is so easy to wear. And then this one, this one's called Haze and this one is a satin. And I specifically bought this one because it is so beige. And I wanted to really dip my toe into going back to my 90s roots when we were doing the lip liner with the beige lipstick. I love that look, um, you know, a little bit updated, but I do still love that look. And boy, I love this formula. It's so creamy and it's going to be a little bit harder to see. It's going to look like there's not much pigment there. And there really isn't. But when you get it on with a lip liner, it just gives that 90s vibe and it's so pretty. And with any sort of a neutral eye or anything gorgeous. And so the satin 
is more of a glossy formula and then the mattes are a true matte so these mattes are going to last you longer but either one they're just beautiful so that's my roundup for lips let's go to eyes all right for eyes every single year i show you the same exact anastasia beverly hills eyeshadow primer and the jason jason Wu eyeshadow primer my anastasia beverly hills isn't in here with me but i'm going to recommend both of these again they are primo they're just so good to be able to cancel out any darkness and really grip your eyeshadow and keep it there all day long and they're going to keep your eyeshadows more vibrant because they are taking out that discoloration you're putting down a more creamy colored base so that's always a good thing when you're doing your eye looks if you want your eye looks to pop use a primer that's going to take away the redness going to give you a little bit of a light colored canvas to start with and these are both really good but i wanted to tell you that i also found from danessa myricks this is just one of her cream eyeshadows this is so budge proof i mean i would definitely go out and purchase some of her other ones if you were just thinking about just wanting to get a really good just cream eyeshadow period if you wanted to use it as a liner with an actual brush eyeliner brush you could do that but this is so good for same thing canceling out the redness and then keeping your eyeshadow there because it's not getting mixed up throughout the day you know my eyelids sweat i don't know if anybody else's eyelids sweat but my eyelids sweat so for me this is a huge bonus to be able to find something that not only i can wear as an eyeshadow on days that i want to just one and done go but also that i can use as that base like they do with the mac paint pots but this is going to dry down completely it's going to be budge proof and your eye makeup or your eyeshadow is going to be there all day so i really did love picking this one up this year brow products it's probably no surprise that the brow products that i chose are the ones that i use over and over again now emily noel showed one in her yearly yearly favorites from estee lauder that i'm intrigued by because it's a three products in one. Well, these are two products in one. One is from Uoma and the other is from Tarte. And what is so cool about it is on the one end, it has the micro brow or the micro brow pencil. Both of these do on each of these. And the other end, they have these fantastic gels on them. I like both of these. I like them equally. But what's really funny is that I like the color of the micro brow on the Tarte one, which I'll show you right here. So here's the color of the micro brow for the Tarte. And then this one is for Uoma. So the Uoma one is a little bit more warm. I think that's why I like the Tarte so much. But when it comes to the gel, I like the Uoma one. And more than anything, look at that spoolie. Teeny, tiny, little spoolie. And also this will put your brows down and hold them all day long. It does the same thing with the Tarte one. The Tarte one's really good too. And it does have a teeny tiny spoolie. It's just a bit longer, but I really like that they've just put these itty bitty spoolies that can catch every single hair. There's some days that I don't wanna mess with a micro brow and paint in my brows. I just wanna take the brow gel and go through my brows really quick and I can even put this down on my skin and fake like I've got a brow tail going off because I don't have much of a tail anymore on my brows. But I really love both of these. I put them both in here more than anything because price point. The Tarte is, whoops, let's put that in on the right end. The Tarte is the high end and the Uoma is the one that you can get that is quite a bit less expensive, but they're both such good product. Eyeliners. I am excited about eyeliners this year. I showed you these particular eyeliners. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Grip Eyeliners. I did an eyeliner tutorial not long ago and this is what I used. These are fantastic budge proof eyeliners. They glide on so gently. I'm wearing this one right here, which is the brown one. They glide on so gently, but when they dry down, they are there and they are budge proof and they are not going to smear and they're not going to fade or anything. They are just really good. And I do like that on the other end, you also get the little sharpener in there, which I hardly ever use, but I do use this little smudger when I'm on the go. It's just really easy to use and really easy to smudge out your look um, if you're on the go and you don't have a brush with you. So I feel like this was a great new release this year, but I fell in love with an eyeliner that is a very obscure company, but oh my word, these stay in your waterline. Whether it's your upper waterline or your lower water lash line, 
whatever it is, they stay. And if you want to put them on just as regular liners because you don't do waterline, they are the most waterproof ones I've found in a long time. Once these dry down, they're there. Now I need to tell you what they are. They're from Kulfi. K-U-L-F-I is the company and they're ones that came out at Sephora. I love these. This one is the brown one and it is just so creamy and so yummy. As a matter of fact, the formula is so close to the L'Oreal Grip that I, you might not be able to tell the difference, but this one will stay in the waterline. Whereas the L'Oreal Grip will stay in the waterline for a bit, but it's not going to stay like, I can sometimes have this on for six to eight hours, which is unheard of, because I do have pretty watery eyes. But this blue right here, when I wear this in my waterline, I get so many compliments on it. It is this gorgeous sapphire blue, and I don't remember whether it's called cobalt or sapphire. It's called Rain Check. I was wrong on both. So it does look like a, the most clear, vibrant blue sky, blue, deep water. So pretty. But once that bugger dries down, these are there, and you are going to be able to play with them a little bit and manipulate them. If you want to do, you know, a little bit of a wing, if you want to do your upper lid where you're going completely across and smudging it, you're going to be able to play with it. But once they dry down, you have them there. And I feel like these are worth every penny. By the way, both of the ones from L'Oreal and these are automatic liners. So for those of you that don't like to have to sharpen, these are the automatic ones. I also found Moira. I am a diehard Moira fan, which if you watch my other video that's going to be coming up all about face and cheeks, you'll figure that out real fast. But this one from Moira is called the Supernova Mult... Sup ugh. Let's do that again. This one from Moira is called the Supernova Multi-Chrome Eyeliner. This is so pretty. It is so, so pretty. It has this look of purple when you first put it on but it flips through blue and it is so gorgeous. They have a bunch of these and they just completely brighten your eye. So if you're somebody that really just does neutral and you want to kind of go into looking at more colorful eye products, but it really kind of worries you, try an eyeliner that has a vibrant color. And you know, then you're just doing a little bit on your eye, but you're still in your neutral zone. So you're kind of in your safe zone, but you're really upping your eye game because you're putting on that vibrant color. And these are gorgeous. I thought that this was gonna be completely blue because of the packaging, but and or teal or whatever. But when I got that on my hand and I started to look at it and then watched it flip through cobalt blue and purple, I was like, I'm hooked, I'm going to buy some more. Now for a liquid liner, I'm kind of getting away to where I don't do a lot of liquid liner, but they also have the L'Oreal Infallible Grip liquid liners. And I bought the brown and I bought the gray because I wanted to try them out. The gray is so nice. It's a deep charcoal, so it's not quite black. And then the brown is just beautiful because same thing, it's a deepened like chestnut brown color, not quite black, just a little bit of a softer look without going to that harsh black look. So if you're somebody, again, that doesn't reach for black, but you want some other colors, you might try these. The Infallible Grip Felt Tip Liners instead of the eyeliners or the gel liners. These are really good as well. I'm leaving eyeshadow palettes for last, but to the drugstore goes all of my kudos for this year's releases of the mascaras because I just tried so many high-end. I mean, there was probably 10, maybe a dozen high-end mascaras that were released and the drugstore ones that came out beat them. Now, I do know that the Milani highly rated one is not one that came out this year, but for me, I did try this this year. Now, this is said to be a dupe for the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara because of the way that the wand is, just a regular silicone bristle brush, and it's also a tubing mascara. It's beautiful. It goes on so nicely and separates your lashes, lengthens them, makes them look beautiful, and when you're ready to take it off, it's so easy to take it off. You could take it off with water. It's that easy to do. This is a very nice mascara and I just fell in love with it. And yeah, thought it was beautiful. The L'Oreal Telescopic Lift 
Now, I like the waterproof one. To me, it's not that hard to get off compared to the regular one. The regular one, I didn't like that much because I felt like it did flake a little bit. But this waterproof one was perfection. Really quickly, I'll just show you this wand. Again, it's a silicone bristle brush, but on each side, it has different lengths of teeth or tines on there. And so you're going to be able to get length and you're gonna pull it through and separate, but you're gonna be able to build towards the base of your lashes with the shorter part. It just really does a really great job. Now, if you watch TikTok, you know that there was a whole uh, mascara gate over this. However, I still stand by that this is really good because I'm not somebody that wears false lashes, so I didn't get tied up in that whole scandalous eyelash thing like it was the end of the world. <laughs> But, you know, as creators, we need to be able to, you know, have people trust that we're going to tell them whether or not we have lashes on with our mascara. So with me, you're going to probably always know unless I tell you I have lashes on because I can't do lashes worth anything because of my hands. So this beat up tube right here is from e.l.f. And I feel like e.l.f. knocked this out of the park I'm so excited for what e.l.f. is doing lately. I'm gonna have a whole e.l.f. video coming out for you all, but this one from e.l.f. that is the Lash and Roll, this one that they were duping the Benefit They're Real, they really got it, and it's just so good. I guess I am a silicone bristle brush person. I didn't think I was. I thought I was the other way around, but all three of these have the silicone brush, and all three of them do what I need, which is separate what sparse lashes I have. I have longer lashes, but they need separated because I don't have that many of them. This one though was special because I felt like it did hold my curl. And that's something that is hard for me because I do have the lashes that, you know, tip down a little bit. They're just really bad about keeping any sort of a curl, but really beautiful on wear time. And all of these actually are wear time, no smudging, no flaking. That's got to be a criteria right off the bat, but it's got to do a bit of volume, get as much length as possible, and it's got to separate. And all of these were smash it out of the park mascaras this time. Okay, the last part is eyeshadow palettes. I need to tell you that this year for me personally, ColourPop did these 12 pan palettes fantastically. Now, I loved so many of them. Uh, there's three that I'm going to show you specifically. But what I really kind of got into more than anything, I was for a long time, and you all know this if you've been with me for any length of time, I was always wearing a high metallic on my lid, but I do other colors, soft mattes everywhere else. Well, what I decided is I was going to really try hard to use the toppers that you see in so many of these palettes because they, they were coming out all over. I mean, you got to try and utilize them. And I found that they really soften my look, but still give me my great feels for wanting to have glitter or sparkle or metallic on my lids. I really love that look. I don't want to give it up. I'm somebody that has always loved the high shine look. So that's what it does. This one is called Cloud Nine. I'm just going to show it to you right there. ColourPop is such a great quality eyeshadow company. I know that they come out with things all the time, but sometimes they come out with ones that I just want to keep around no matter what. And I hope and pray that they keep them on their website long enough that I can tell you about them and you can go get it. And they do have all of these still. So Cloud9 is kind of a mixture of the cool tones, really beautiful, neutral, cool tones with a little bit of pop of color. This blue right here, so pretty icy blue right there. There's a couple of toppers in there as well. Pretty Please also satisfies my need for the mauve tones. This was a beautiful palette this year. This one in the corner down there, that was definitely a topper. And I just took it and I topped it over top of this kind of a rosy mauve color right here. So beautiful. Gorgeous colors in here, actually. Even that really beautiful matte right here that is that kind of a creamy, kind of a creamy pink color with pinpoint glitter in it. And I mean, it's micro fine pinpoint. So you're gonna, more than anything, you're gonna see just the cream color you're not gonna see that has pinpoints in it. Gorgeous on those. And then this last one, last one is called 1111. And this one for me was just about the pretty neutral palette that you might need to have in your life. This one I felt like 
could very easily stand up to one of my high-end ones. And it's the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. Now that's what I'm wearing today is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. It's what's on my eyes today. But I wanna open this and I wanna show you kind of the similarity between these two. It's a little bit you know, farther apart, but really darn close. And if you were doing looks, I think that I would go for the 1111 palette because I liked that these were a little bit more vibrant and you also had a little bit more depth in here whereas the i need a nude palette and i use this constantly and if you're wondering why it looks like brand new because it is i had to go buy this because mine fell and broke half of them oh man if you've ever almost cried over makeup i almost cried over makeup the other day <laughs> but this one is so pretty now a lot of these are toppers the one that i have on is in the corner right here and it's the topper that i just have on over top of this is kind of a creamy peach color it's what i have under the one that is in the corner over here this one this brown right here is such a beautiful depth but i will say that if you're a person uh, that is medium skin tone and you like a more pigmented palette or you have a deep skin tone skip this one because it's not going to be for you but this i have heard people just rave about for me it was perfect because finally i was able to just go in and do an eye look without having to worry about am i going to get my eye look looking too deep too fast because the tones were just so light and so beautiful and i don't really have to speak to how beautiful these shadows are natasha denona she knows how to do shadows every bit as much color pop does too but Natasha Denona has it down pat along with Huda. Now Huda Beauty came out with the Pretty Grunge palette and when I first saw this I was like nope ain't gonna do it but guess what I got sucked in when I went down and I swatched it. Now when you look at this you're thinking those are dark colors Melissa and you're right. So again if you're somebody that is medium to the very deepest you're gonna love this palette and if you've never tried a cool tone palette before you're gonna love this palette so give it a try. It has these cool tones that go from purples to browns to grays it's gorgeous all the way across the board this light color right here that looks like a very creamy color it's perfect to be able to mix with some of these to lighten them up if you feel like they're too deep and if you want something to deepen you can go into the black so pretty and then over here you do have an, an eyeliner color that she put in here which is a deep 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 black so beautiful if you've been looking for a black cream eyeshadow this is gorgeous goes on blends out like a dream it's really pretty all of these are beautiful these ones that look like they're chunky glitter they're not chunky glitter they do have a bit of glitter in them it's micro fine though and it is so beautiful on the lid or if you're going to sweep it completely across your eye they are just gorgeous that one's not quite got the you know super shine in it or super metallic in it that this one does that this one does but they're just so pretty and i loved that they put in these grayish kind of purple colors in here they're just this is a beautiful palette and i didn't think i was going to want it or like it melissa 55 i love that gal she is so classy and so beautiful and she did a look on instagram with this palette and her eyes just sparkled and twinkled it shown her it showed her blue eyes just pop that woman is just so beautiful anyway but it was really pretty on her gorgeous quality as usual absolutely beautiful so if you've been thinking about this one and you've been wondering whether or not it's worth the money i know they all just got their prices raised on all of these i know so you might have to wait for the you know coupon but if you've been thinking about it and you see a good sale and you want it go for it it's it's a great palette all right that closes out eyes and lips for this video stay tuned for my next video that should be out in two more days and that's going to be all about complexion so it's going to be powders foundations concealers blushes bronzers highlighters all those good things so stay tuned for that i hope that you did enjoy that now let's just take a peek at this shirt really quick so you can see it i love the way that this crisscrosses over the neckline and then gives a little peekaboo right here across the chest it's very modest it doesn't come down too low and it's long sleeved it's a rib knit very forgiving on the size super stretchy i'm wearing a medium kind of curve hugging 
but I do feel like at the same time, it's very forgiving on its size. And then of course the earrings, the bracelets, the rings, everything will be listed, listed and linked below, like I said. And so go ahead and open up the description box. So I hope that you did enjoy it. Don't forget to tell me all about what lip and eye products you got this year because obviously I didn't find enough lip products at the drugstore. So tell me about some that you have found that you absolutely fell in love with this year. I would love to hear from you. Love you guys so much. Come back around really soon so you can see the next part of this roundup for 2023. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye friends.